Hello and welcome to my channel. And I always say at this point, don't I, something different for you. <laughs> yes, this is something different for This is a book review. I haven't done one of those. The book in question is this. Have you read it? The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Let me give you, so I'll read out what it says on the back and then we'll go into a bit more detail. So it says, Nora's life has been going from bad to worse. Then at the stroke of midnight on her last day on earth, she finds herself transported to a library. There she is given the chance to undo her regrets and try out each of the other lives she might have lived. Which raises the ultimate question, with infinite choices, what is the best way to live? This, because I bought you this as a review, there is, I cannot praise it enough. It's not really big, I don't have to read a lot, but it's so in depth, it's so life, it was life changing for me. And you might have known, I've had therapy a lot <laughs> over the years. And I never quite understood what kept causing me all the problems. I read this and in my own strange little workings in there, I worked it out. For myself, personally, me, alone, it was a case of I was always looking to the future. And I was getting frustrated that I wasn't in the future. How sad's that? This little one showed me how to live now, how to enjoy the now, the fact that I'm in the right place at the right time and everything's going on just as it should. And I can't express enough. I stopped trying to see forward all the time. I stopped getting frustrated at what I couldn't have right now. I want it right now. It's like that Ruka, isn't it, on Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory. I want it and I want it now. <laughs> but no, I am in exactly the right place I need to be. But there's a lot of stories in there because it's a lot of Nora's looking at what might have been. She's sort of looking at her, I won't give too much away. She's looking at her regrets. Oh, and she didn't make that choice. Like, Oh, well, I could have gone down that path or I went down that path. What would have happened if I'd gone down the other path? And that's what it looks at. Her regrets and are they really regrets? Is it a path she really wanted to take? Trust me, if you want a good read, that's it. That's the book of whatever, the universe and <laughs> everything. I have read some of other some other ones of Matt's. I've read the How to Stop Time, and I've I've read the Humans. Um, the Stop Time is sort of a time travel one. Good if you're into time travel, which I enjoyed. But there wasn't anything in there that was going to change my life. Whereas in this one, it's a life cha changer. <laughs> so my tip of the day. Get yourself one of these. Get it on Kindle. Borrow it from the library. But do have a look at this one. And no, I'm not getting any... I didn't get it for free. I <laughs> I bought it. Fancied it and bought it. So I'm not getting any comeback. I don't get any money from it for advertising it. It's just such a good book. I think you ought to read it. And let me know how you get on. So there you go. <laughs> Strange little video. But it um, says up here, the number one Sunday best time seller. I know what that one is. It says, such a beautiful book. It says, filled with warmth and humour. A celebration of life's possibilities. Your life, my life, everybody's life. Read the book. That's all I say. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. So stay safe. And it's bye-bye for now.